All right, so you started a spray tan business and you're still slow. You cannot find clients. You can't get your books full. Minus the fact that it's a global pandemic. Put that aside. Let's talk about some ways and some finishing touches that you can use in your spray tan business that maybe not everybody does, but that I do and has thoroughly impressed my clients who have had spray tans before and keeps them coming back because they love my service. So if you're interested in the top couple ways that I keep consistent clientele because of the finishing touches that I use, stay tuned. All right, welcome back. This is Gina with Impressive Glow Spray Tan and Teeth Whitening Training. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about some finishing touches that I use during my um, spray tan appointments. Now, I've been spray tanning for about four years now. And especially from the clients that I get who've had spray tans before, who come to my appointment and throughout the appointment, I can see the looks on their face of, wow, nobody's ever done that before, or wow, that's different. Uh, or the constant compliments that I get about the certain things that I do just to make an appointment that much special and what I think should be included in a perfect spray tan because that's what we are here to do. So a couple of the things that are important to me, blending, right? Are you blending for your client in their wrists, in their elbows, in their knees, uh, at their ankles? Are you blending? And if you're not, I can tell you, you should be blending, right? So a couple of the reasons why I think um, these are so, such important areas is it shows your client that you are focused on the details of your spray tan. You wanna make sure that it's perfect. Um, and we all know as spray tan technicians, as we're coming down to these um, certain areas of the body, one, we don't want any flat lines, but two, we wanna make sure that that color is gradual. And so the best thing that you can do for your clients is to blend, right? Um, as whenever I get clients who have been spray tan before and I bust out a brush and I start blending, they are shocked and they are impressed. Um, although I think it's something that should be done. It is an extra step in some cases that other um, spray tan technicians don't do. So you be the technician that does it because I tell you, um, your clients will love it. Okay, so make sure that you're blending. The second thing that is important for your spray tan, now we all use barrier cream, of course, right? We're putting it really thick on their hands, we're putting it in their elbows, we're putting it in their knees, in their toes, in their ankles. At least I hope you're putting it in those areas. <laughs> and if you're not, don't forget I offer training. Um, but when you do that, after your appointment, what do you do? Do you just hand them a napkin to wipe that all off? Or do you take a wipey for your client and do you physically wipe off those areas for them? Um, I think it's important, again, for the focus on detail of where you're actually wanting those places wiped off. If you just hand your, um, your client a wipe ear, if you just hand them a napkin, they're gonna tend to wipe off every area that you put lotion, but maybe you don't want them to wipe off their elbows. I hope you don't. Maybe you don't want them to wipe off at their knees. I hope you don't. Um, so it gives you ultimate control of that appointment. So we're wiping off all of that barrier cream from their hands, you're wiping that from the backs of their heels, around their feet, on top of those toes. Um, so taking off that barrier cream for them is, an, is a great thing. It shows that you care and that you acknowledge that they're gonna be a little bit sticky and that you wanna take that, um, take care of that for, uh, for them uh, before they leave. So that's another great tip of special touches that you can be doing for your clients. So number three, drying. I will tell you, there are some pet peeves that everybody has, obviously, um, but there are definitely some pet peeves that I have when I see somebody getting a spray tan. Um, and one of them at the top includes handing your client the um, your machine um, air tube or whatever comes on your machine and having your client dry themselves. I really hope you're not doing that. <laughs> I don't know why that irks me so much. It is our job as spray tan technicians to complete their spray tan from beginning to end and make it as perfect as possible. 
I would never suggest and hand my client the, the dryer tube or whatever on our machine and have them physically dry themselves. Now I have I have heard and seen a lot of this happen in like bed tanning studios where ultimately spray tanning isn't their biggest sell. It's not something that they bank on and they just kind of like, they're just kind of in it for the spray tan. But if you are a sole spray tanner and this is your business and you run it, please, please, please make sure that attention to that detail of you making sure you're drying them with that gun or however you're drying them, that you do that personally and then you don't put that responsibility onto them. You know what areas need to be dried first, you know what areas um, are important and you also know that you don't want your client to be moving the least amount of possible as possible um, right after that spray tan. I couldn't imagine seeing a client moving and bending all over the place trying to dry themselves and getting that solution um, if it happened to be still tacky and just getting stuff all over the place. So please make sure you're not doing that. <laughs> Okay, last one that I think is super important is drying powder. Do you offer drying powder, finishing powder, setting powder, um, whatever you wanna call it, um, do you offer that to your clients? Now whether you're using solution that happens to be a little stickier, example, aloe-based solution or any solution that may be a little bit more tacky, regardless of that, I think the little touch of um, finishing powder all over your client is just kind of luxurious. They love it. Um, if you customize your own uh, finishing powder, you can customize to whatever scent you like. Um, you can purchase um, setting solution or setting powder from companies and they smell amazing. Sometimes clients just don't like the smell of particular solution. Maybe you use a solution that has a, a stronger odor and this is a great way to kind of mask that odor, especially if they're gonna be sleeping in this. Um, Aloe-based solution, this is a great way to make sure they're not tacky um, throughout the night and they don't kind of feel that unwanted feeling. Because I'm gonna tell you, these, your clients are gonna remember the way they felt from beginning to end of their appointment, from the time they walked into their studio to the time that they saw their tan develop. So in between there is how you're treating them during your appointment and how they felt even after that appointment until they were able to rinse. So if they had a bad uh, experience of feeling like they were tacky for eight hours, this kind of, this helps that. That finishing powder really puts that um, memory in their brain of, God, that stuff smelled amazing, I wasn't sticky, um, and that sets you apart from every other spray tan technician. So these are my little hint, or my little, uh, finishing touches that I think are super important that make a difference in a spray tan appointment. It's always great for you to go that extra mile for your clients, making them feel as comfortable and making them feel as luxurious as possible when it comes to a spray tan. Cause let's face it, spray tanning is a luxury service. Um, and we want to make sure that regardless if you're charging $25 for a tan or $40 for a tan, um, as you grow in your business, these kinds of things will start to add up to where you can start charging a little bit more just because they love the experience. They love you for thinking of these things. They love you for explaining why you do these things and they are gonna come see you more than anybody else, especially the people who don't do these types of finishing touches. So I hope that helps. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. <laughs> if you have questions, don't forget, I offer one-on-one -on -one spray tan and teeth whitening training. Um, follow all my social media, um, check out my website, the things that I offer. I'm gonna be coming out with a newsletter soon. I've had so much on my plate, um, but I would love for you guys to go to my website and sign up for that as it is coming uh, soon, soon, soon. Follow all, or make sure you subscribe, comment, share. Literally guys, I only do that so my kids think I'm cool. I got a thousand subscribers and my son said, okay, well now you only need 9,000 more to be cool. What? <laughs> so I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you're being safe. Uh, love each other. I will talk to you guys soon.